Hi Libras, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. Alright, someone's performing well. Most important messages for Libra, please and thank you. I shuffle these cards up like crazy. And I just shuffled again, if I'm not mistaken. But we have the Knight of Wands. You might have some type of connection to Virgo. You may have it in your chart because I just did their reading. This was the very first card that came out. You may be receiving some communication from a Virgo about something that I talked about in that reading. I don't know. Confidence. A Leo. Something long term. Oh, I was talking to... Something about like a long-term friendship that may be ended and stuff like that. We have this. Hmm, look at that. The Ten of Swords. So we're going to stay into your, and focus. Stay focused on Libra. We have the Ten of uh, Pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Nine of Wands. And then we have the Seven of Swords underneath there as well. With that Queen of Pentacles. Star card. Du -du 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 -du. Someone was working on something for a while. Someone was trying to someone was trying to avoid an ending, but it was all based off lies. It could be a relationship, but someone's commit what well, someone was committed to something. Ten of Pentacles. So someone's someone was committed to manifesting something, but it could have been all out of impulse. That could have led to betrayal. Like, yeah, bam. There you are. So it could have something to do with children, the past, siblings, something like that, where someone okay. I got a situation here where a person was expecting to hurt someone else. You could have been deciding this. You you, you could have um, decided to hurt someone or you wanted to hurt someone. Okay. That's not for everyone. Someone could have decided to want to hurt you. All right. But someone was trying to create or manifest something. Someone was working on something for a long time now. Not trying to create an ending. Trying to avoid an ending. But everything was, but these things were based off lies. Someone was causing betrayal some way, somehow. I'm going to get more information for towards him. So, energy of stop or stalling. Can I get more information? That is you. But we have the page of cups. This could, this could be an apology, or just some some type of new energy coming in, slowing down. Take your time. New opportunity. Facing your fears. About doing something on your own, following your intuition, about loving yourself, and seeing when this negative, low vibrational energy is coming in. Okay, um, just because someone is offering you something, just because it looks good, looks good, doesn't mean it's good. So someone could be creating, yeah, wow. So someone could be could be making an offer like, oh, I got this for this, and it's and it seems like almost too good to be true. It is. So we have the seven of swords. Someone trying to get away with something. Told you, someone commuting, communicating something where um. Someone feels like they've been lied to or they saying something to you and they're not being honest. What's this Knight of Wands energy? Nine of Swords. So someone's worried about the impulsive decision that they made when it comes down to either a relationship or just a choice. That someone put a lot of energy into. Manifesting. Someone was trying to manifest a hard time when it came down to a relationship. So someone could have been interfering in a relationship or a decision that someone was making. Let me see what the heck is going on here. Nine of Cups. It looks like someone would rather be on their own. Find happiness on their own. Find um, some type of. Let me see. This is like this is like self love makes you more attractive. So someone's love for themselves made them more attractive. What are we talking about here? Clear my energy. We, Libra, we have the Nine of Swords. So someone made a choice out of impulse, but now what's being manifested is a whole lot of burdens. But someone also chooses to love themselves, which, like I said, makes them more attractive. It could be you here. I don't know who is it, who, who's who here. <laughs> I really can't tell. So let's move forward. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Nice source. There's communication again. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Messages are different for everyone. Remember that. So we have the Four of Cups. 
So someone wants it to create something long term. Check this out. So someone wants it to create or manifest something long term, hoping that you would accept you were them. But someone realized or knew that was nothing but a trap. It was a setup. So look, it's either you or this person denied it, right? Said, nope, no way, Jose. What is the Ace of Wands energy? The Nine of Cups. I told you, someone self loves makes self love makes them more attractive, and it doesn't necessarily have to be that. It just reminded me of that card, right? So you loving yourself, and you're manifesting a new beginning for yourself. You being happy with who you are. Got people in a frenzy. So we have the full card, brand new beginning, Knight of Cups. <laughs> have a compassion look it looks like you even have compassion for your haters so we have the strength card and the eight of pentacles so one has the strength of confidence and continue to work this is also someone like look i ain't paying attention to you i don't got time for you what i'm focused on is my work because i don't you you you're a hater so don't don't be a hater for a, a forever type of energy right king of swords someone thought they knew everything and got trapped what i mean by that um King of Swords, you could have been dealing with another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, but someone who decided to not have a soft heart type of energy, like whatever, F love, give me diamonds or what well, type of, you know, that type of energy. And it's okay to put your money first, but at the same time, when you lack compassion for others and you can, and you being ruthless and a narcissistic type of energy, this is what looks like it's being trapped. This is look this this is who ends up in their head because they tried to hold on to something. That probably was leading to an end in the first place. So you probably know this person around you. This could be um, could be you, however it is. But someone loves themselves and manifests a brand new beginning. After denying something that could have had you in a trap. Didn't I say that? Moving on. What's the page of cups? What's the page of cups? So it's a lot of fiery energy surrounding you some way. Somehow it could be in your chart. But I feel fiery because I got a lot of red here. Anyways, even though I have the swords, the cups, and all of that out here, but I still get a lot of red. And it's the first blue card that I'm seeing here. I don't know why I'm being followed to the colors. But here's a rainbow. Here's a rainbow on the card. So that's probably why. Anyways, miracles could be happening for you, Libra. Two of Cups energy. There's something with Virgo with you all. Or something going on with the Virgo. So what, uh, Venus, and who are you, Libra? Why I can't think about the sign because the, 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 the planet connects to you. But anyways, Venus, would it be the same sign? Anyways, two of cups, seven of cups, mixed emotions, three of pentacles. I could be wrong, y'all, so don't, don't, don't take my word for it for whatever I was just talking about on the Mercury's and the, the, the planets. Um, two of cups. Seven of Cups, Mixed Emotion, Three of Pentacles. So what I was about to say, and then we have the Sirens outside. You remember I was just telling you that I seen this card in uh, that last reading that I was doing. Virgo. And I was just telling them about a connection or relationships that was they was they, that they had. Like you were committed to these people. You had their back. They had your type of energy. Or that's what you thought. See what I just said? You, that's what you thought. But you are unsure about or you became unsure about working with these people. Maybe you were unsure about their motives and stuff like that. And for some for, for some reason, you didn't see yourself moving away from them. But at the same time, I think you know that the justice for dealing with these people are creating tower moments in your life. So it's like you want to open up to new individuals because you don't want to deal with it. Chaos from the past type of energy. Okay, that's what I'm getting there. I'm going to move on, get you all some advice. What's the advice? Because it looks like they want to keep this short. Uh, what's the advice for Libra? It's time for you to make some type of judgment or decision about a certain type of person. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. It could have been a fight. It's well. Something is coming to an end, though. After you being patient, however, what's the judgment card? The Page of Wands, an offer. Could be a younger person, a younger fire sign, the two of pentacles, the ten of cups. So it's time for you to make a clear decision about an offer that's being made to you. So it's like, it's up to you. You want to be happy or you want to deal with struggle.
controlling someone's happiness. Hold on, because when I see the two of pentacles, it reminds me of control. So, could be a younger Capricorn involved as well with that page of pentacles. Capricorn towards Virgo energy. Ten of Wands, Sag, Ten of Cups, Pipe. Ten of Cups, Pisces, Capricorn here. So that's why I said Capricorn first, because with that Two of Pentacles energy here, the Lovers card, Gemini, Ace of Pentacles, New Beginning, towards the Hierophant. The spirit, spirits of the universe is right in the front of that confusion. Something that can lead to confusion. So it's almost as if the decision that to be made is very clear which decision to make, but it's up to you as to which choice you're going to make. Um, Hold on, let me see. Someone decides to deal, like someone decides to put in the hard work. But this hard work also has something to do with a um, a choice or a decision that you make. It looks like it's what's best. Let me see something. What's this page of wands energy? Communication or action to move forward. What's the page of wands energy? Ten of swords. You know, those people that, no, this is what spirit is drawing me right here. Those people that are offering to you, they want to hang out with you, these younger individuals. I don't know what's happening here, but it looks like you're walking away from these people who you who you want celebrated with. The sun card. Because you realize the truth that someone was not being honest. Lies, deceivers. Some people always communicating things that they weren't doing or um, saying talking about how things were working out and it wasn't type of energy as well so it looks like you just put it put an end to something allow something to end between you and another person or something like that or people anything else about that ten of swords who is it what is it it's the six of swords you're moving on here you are making a choice to move on it looks like you clear out something what's the most important message for the sign of libra please and thank you Maybe I should ask, uh, let me ask a, few, ask a few more questions. What makes Libra so happy here with this Nine of Cups? Or what is that? We have the Strength card, Leo. So Leo energy that makes you happy. Or um, look at the opposite of it with Aquarius. So some type of strength and confidence. You holding on to something or you deciding to restrain yourself from something because you see what was coming. You seen the devil coming ahead. You seen a low vibrational that was a low vibrational energy that was connected to it. Can I get more on this strength card? The five of pentacles, a lack thereof energy. Turning away from poverty. Looking more towards um abundance and savings and stuff like that. Five of swords, it could have been an argument or a fight. Anyways. This is you overcoming some type of struggle or doing something on your own, lack thereof, energy, a poverty mindset. Whatever this is, you overcome. And I asked what was making you happy. So it's either this energy of you restraining yourself and still over um and you restraining yourself from dealing with people that could have led you into a poverty mindset. Or overcoming the thought that you're not enough in some way. Or someone else isn't enough in some way, some way somehow. So, whatever it is, you decide to move on um, eventually. Or that's what's best. That's the advice for you to move on away from people, away from the, whatever this offer is. People keep offering something that, you know, it leads to betrayal. So, or maybe trying to intentionally, some type of, someone intentionally trying to cause hurt. What's the most important message for the sign of Libra? Please and thank you. What's the sign? Most important sign of important messages for the sign of Libra. My bad. So we have Garuda, 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 Suparna, and then Bast Bastet of one seventy four hertz, and then we have Karma of Kutuhala. It looks like the Phoenix rising from the ashes. Let's read them and we close in this out. Number 42 says, cultivate confidence in yourself. You have the inner spiritual power to deal wisely and to deal wisely and effectively with any situation. Don't allow anyone to take advantage of your kind nature. Reflect upon what action feels best for you to take and then follow through with decisiveness. Do not allow negativity to get a grip on your life. Positive energy and outcomes are indicated. So let's read number 13.
Come on now, I don't see not one of the... Here we go. Um, you've been moving so fast for so long that you're not realizing how one, how wound up you've become. Gently unwind now to drop into in, to drop into a deeper, slower healing rhythm, and you will restore your body, mind, and soul. Things which seem too difficult right now shall soon seem very manageable and even pleasurable to accomplish. So let's read number forty three. Wow, is, is it the last card? Maybe. Your sacred soul passion is powerful enough to shift the state of your inner reality and your outer experience. So commit to what truly ignites your heart and do not be dissuaded by anything or anyone. If you are seeking to make a comp commitment, do so when, it's truly, when it truly connects to your heart. Excuse me, let me run that back. If you are seeking to make a commitment, do so when it truly connects you to your heart. Follow your gen genuine, meaningful bliss. Know that no matter what appears to be, you shall prevail. You shall arise. That was your reading, Libra. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know that in the comments. If it resonated, how it resonated, Libra like shares all of that good stuff. If you all would like more information on your personal situation, go ahead and book a personal reading. If not, catch me in the next one.